Well, good morning, top of the morning to you. It's pretty early out. So today, we're off to a bad start. I can't even get the props set up right. <laughs> uh, so we're looking at this little baby desktop um, computer. It's this little single board computer. This is a Quadra. So the reason I'm looking at this is I'm looking for an alternative to the highly coveted and ridiculously overpriced lately Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi has gone off the rails and uh, is about three to four times what the original cost was. So this is a Raspberry Pi 4. It was probably about 50 bucks. Well, good luck finding one and good luck we'd get, good luck even getting a new one. So the last time I looked, um, this was like January or, no, excuse me, not January, July, June, July of 2003. So we got a long haul wait. Um, they, I don't know, I have an opinion about what's this, uh, what's going on here and you're not going to get, uh, get to hear it. So this is a little baby single board computer. That, like I said, this was a set top box and what someone's done here is they've kind of hacked into the thing, reflashed the operating system and made it just a basic kind of little computer. You can get another, um, image and reflash it and it has a number of, the current amateur radio software although you can use some of that stuff for shortwave just because it says amateur radio don't think it uh, you can't uh, listen to it enjoy it so the basic unit there's not a lot here this is about 30 bucks worth there's a plus version of this which comes with a usb hub and a uh, i believe it's the uh, faster interface for wireless and it's a little dongle it's a ten, another 10 bucks so the units 30 bucks about 10 bucks of shipping another 10 bucks uh, I don't know up to you um, the basic unit has uh, there's a LED here there's an infrared detector I don't know if it's implemented in this uh, particular setup most of the connections there's wireless on board um, there's a uh, power here it's just 5 volts USB 2 here there's an Ethernet connection I've never hooked it up um, HDMI and then this uh, quote AV connector which I don't is, think is fired up in this implementation there's USB 3 here and there's an SD card slot there and it's really tough to see and it's uh, kind of a bugbear to deal with it's just it, it's probably never intended to be used too much so you can see it's right there and you gotta really push down to get it in there so these come relatively quickly they were in a padded envelope it was in a padded envelope it was in a bag so not too bad uh, it's about 10 bucks of shipping it's 11 bucks it was priority mail so it came pretty quick so I beat the rush before the the holiday scurrying. I'm planning on using this in my shack here for some of the amateur radio modes. Um, not too bad. It boots relatively quickly. Uh, it's a quad core, uh, which doesn't say a super lot, um, and it's about 1.7 gigahertz in speed. Um, it's got just enough power to kind of run some things comfortably. Uh, they do run kind of warm, and there is a little stand that you can download and have 3D printed to hold it up. It has a fan that you put in it, or place for a fan, I should say. Um, compared to the Raspberry Pi, this is a real bargain. You can get them. Um, it takes, at least for me, it took like two or three days counting the uh, Thanksgiving holidays. So it came pretty fast. I was pretty pleased. I was a little apprehensive about ordering this because I didn't see much advertising about it at the time but hey I'd see her at the desk so whatever um, the unit comes with a power pack and there's an HDMI cable anything else you'll have to have a keyboard and a monitor or some kind of HDMI interface so here we have got the Quadra running. I'm using the W D excuse me the W S J T X interface here. Um, you'll have to flash this with a different 
image to get all the amateur stuff. Although this is a uh, Linux box, and you can just build all the download and build all this stuff. I personally kind of recommend that, even though there's a lot of pain sometimes in getting those things to run and compile. It's uh, worth the education. Plus, you get to put what you want on the thing, and not what some other person has determined that they need on your on your computer. Oh, what, staying in control? Oh, I don't know. I'd heard it's all the rage, but I don't know. It sounds overrated. Anyway, I think I'll let you go here. I just thought I'd show you this this morning real quick and dirty. Nothing too fancy. Until later, have a groovy day, and take it easy. Bye-bye.